Season's greetings everyone. My name is Gordon Tate and I've been interested in beer ever since joining Joshua Tetley Brewery in Leeds at the age of 17. Eight breweries and 43 years later, including working for all the big Burton breweries in Coop, Carlsberg Tetley, Marston's, Molson Coors, plus spending time on their taste panels, I'm still interested in beer and I believe that beer matters. And that's the title of a series of um, programmes that we'll be bringing you through the year looking at beer issues in the Burton and South Derbyshire district. Now, as I said, I believe there is a beer for every occasion, and I'd like to take you through a few beers that I've picked up and would like to recommend for trying over the Christmas period. So, here are my Christmas crackers. So, Christmas is almost upon us, and if you're anything like me, you'll be starting to panic about those last minute presents. If there's a man or woman in your life who's interested in beer, then no problem. Why not nip down to Morrison's and have a look at their great selection of Christmas gift packs? If you want to go the traditional route, here's Great British Ales. This includes Young's Ramrod, which is a full-bodied strong ale, and local favourite Resolution Ale, which is a double fermented beauty from Marston's. Craft beers are very popular and in with the in crowd at the moment. If you want to go the hipster route, why not try the craft beer selection, including Joker IPA, which is a golden colour, fresh citrus tasting uh, pale ale brewed by Williams Brothers of Alloa. Thwaites' 13 Guns is an American style IPA, ultra hoppy and very fresh. Or Double Hot Monster, it's big, bold, it's strong, it's brewed by Green King, and it's 7.2%, so treat it with respect. So, just a little hint, family and friends, if you're watching, you know where to go. So it's Christmas Eve, the stockings are all being hung, presents are wrapped, kids are tucked up in bed. Now it's time to relax. I would recommend festive Christmas porter from our friends down at the Burton Bridge Brewery. It is available from the Bruin Museum on Horninglow Road. Beautiful burgundy tones. Don't be put off by the slightly medicinal aroma. It's actually got a spicy, peppery palette with hints of cinnamon and licorice. So leave the sherry for Santa, pour yourself a beautiful glass of festive Christmas porter from the Burton Bridge Brewery. Cheers. So now it's Christmas Day. What do I recommend the best beer to go with Christmas lunch? Well, how about Christmas Ale from Southwold. Available from M&S stores, this is brewed by Adnams of Southwold, who are probably more famous for their broadside beer. Ruby red in colour, with an aroma slightly tinged with raisins. It's smooth, it's fruity. Reminds me a little bit of Christmas Pud. Double roasted crystal malts give it a particular character which I think is perfect with the cheese board. Happy Christmas! Boxing Day. This beer comes in its own pretty little presentation box. It's called Wintry Wonder Ale and it's brewed, ooh, it's a little bit uh, on the lively side. <laughs> It comes from Mr Whitehead's Farm, which is in Alton in Hampshire. A 
Apparently, Mr Whitehead is famous for making cider, but this is a particularly good effort at a, a light, fruity IPA. Tawny brown, nutty on the nose, I get malt loaf and chestnuts. A word of warning, just watch out for the sediment. You need to pour very carefully as this is a living beer. So don't be too worried if you get tiny little bits of sediment in the bottom. No harm whatsoever. So what's the best way of seeing in the new year? Why not go Celtic? Kindred Spirits is brewed by Innes and Gun, a well-known independent brewery from Edinburgh. They have become famous for infusing their beers in wooden casks with the likes of sherry, brandy and whiskies. This particular one is done in collaboration with Tullamore's Irish Whiskey Company. It has a lovely dark chocolate colour, an aroma that is very woody and earthy, and taste-wise reminds me very much of black beer and milk stout, which I used to drink in my youth. A tinge of malty viral and the ever-present whisky character will also please. At 6.1%, it will certainly keep you warm on New Year's Eve. Roll on, Hogmanay. So those are my festive favourites for Christmas 2018. But don't just take my word for it. Have fun, get out and about, search the shops and supermarkets and find the beers that meet your own personal taste. Beer matters, but drink sensibly and responsibly. Never be tempted to drink and drive. It just remains for me to say, have a multi-Christmas and a happy new year. Cheers, my dears.